so I might be moving my family back to Thailand. We are fortunate that we have sufficient resources to be able to do this, and I want to explain what goes through that process. Currently, we're living in Mexico, and life in Mexico is fine. I think that Thailand, in Thailand, the food is better. You can get very cheap massages. It is overall a lower cost of living. And frankly, it has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world on Phuket, in Krabi, and Bangkok is just an awesome place. But there's a bigger reason that we are going to, in all likelihood, move. And that is safety. And that is culture. If you're taking a look what's going on in England right now, after massive immigration being allowed and encouraged and the grooming gangs being protected, you are seeing the fallout in terms of the riots that are going on, the lack of free speech. And when you have this battle of cultures, when you have one group whose values are antithetical to the freedoms that the British have unearthed with the Magna Carta, that throughout time they have offered their citizens. And when you have to prostrate yourself in front of these people in order to demonstrate that you're a decent person, that you support immigrants as they come here and they demand that you behave according to their laws, not coming to your country in an effort to fit in as many Latinos coming into the United States have historically done, trying to build a better life for themselves, not taking a handout. No, many of these people are coming over specifically because, yes, the life is better. Yes, they're given all sorts of free shit, which encourages them. They're living off of the taxpayer, off of the government, on the dole. And then they demand that you follow their laws. Are you allowed to draw a picture of the Prophet Muhammad? Probably not, because they will kill you. I've experienced that personally when I was in Syria, right before everything blew up at the end of 2010. I was in an area called Palmyra, Syria, and our guide, who I was talking to, I was asking various things about the Danish cartoonist who had suffered death threats for having drawn the Prophet Muhammad. And our guide told us that if, it, if he were to meet this man, he would kill him. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like, Haji, his nickname. Haji, what if I were to draw a stick figure of the Prophet and label it Muhammad? And he looks at me threateningly and says, oh no, I know you, Richard. You would never do such a thing. This is antithetical to the free speech rights of a Christian nation that you, where you can satirize absolutely anything. But these rules are being foisted upon the English because, frankly, they are willing to do anything in order to enforce it. If you commit blasphemy laws around the Arab or Muslim world, they will. And in Thailand, yeah, they do have many, many Muslims, but it's a much more tolerant form of Islam. Although I have to tell you that when I'm in Bangkok recently and I'm seeing everybody, or way too many women in the full burqa, it doesn't fill me with a tremendous amount of confidence in terms of where the area, that area might be headed. I mean, not be headed, but be headed. And Similarly, in the United States, you're having massive immigration. Everybody is being let in, and it's intentional. And that makes me think that unless this problem is solved, I don't know how safe the United States is going to be. I don't know what type of discord there will be as warring factions ideologically go against each other. As one group, the Democrats want to give free health care to everybody. You cannot have an open border and a welfare state because you will attract far too many people that will destroy whatever welfare system may or may not have been working to begin with. And you are going to see if this is not solved, if the Democrats win an implosion in the United States, because there's only so much 
dilution of a solution that works before you see it erupt in chaos. And I'm not saying that we're there yet, but you have to look to see where the puck is going to and skate there ahead of it. So coming back to why we're going to likely be settling in Thailand is because there is social cohesion and there is a beautiful culture here. And people here are Buddhist, which means that they, they steal from you. Then that's bad karma for them, which is something that they want to avoid. There's little lying, little stealing. Yes, of course there's some. Of course there's some. But there's far less of it than elsewhere that I've been. Far, far less than in Mexico, than in the United States, than in Costa Rica. And I've lived in these places, than in the Czech Republic or Canada or Bermuda, all countries that I've lived in. And Thailand is definitely socially cohesive. And their border laws are very, very strict. You cannot stay indefinitely in the country. They will never allow you in if you overstay by a certain number of days, your visa. They are in control here. There is a social cohesiveness. It's very beautiful. It's very cheap. And I want my family and to, be, to avoid the chaos that is taking place in the West that is being fomented intentionally by these politicos that are absolutely trying to destroy everything that was built before them in order that they might feel perhaps either significant because look what I've been able to do. I've just destroyed the great United States or based on a false sense that they're a good person because they're so, so tolerant. Oh, I'm going to tolerate somebody walking into with a machete in front of my children. Oh, I'm so tolerant. I'm going to let you take a swing at them. Oh, I'm so tolerant. I'm not going to prosecute you after you've killed them. This is kind of an exaggeration, but it happened in Norway that an individual was raped. A man was raped by an immigrant. A, I think it was a Somali immigrant. And he weeped when this man was going to be deported because he felt like this man had just had a tough life. This is just idiotic. This is parasitic mind control that has gone on in the West. And I want nothing more to do with it now that I have a family. And I will continue to fight on the side of freedom. I will express my views. I will donate to causes. But I'm protecting my children in all likelihood by moving back to Southeast Asia where people are freaking sane.